Episode 8 of Andor continues to provoke interesting insight into the inner workings of the Galactic Empire, and the latest meeting between the officers of the ISB investigation branch revealed some deeper cultural issues to the Empire's approach. Chaired this time by Wolf Yularen, with Major Partagas present at his side, I noticed in this meeting it lacked the attendance of Supervisor Blevin, who was humiliated by Partagas in Episode 7. Whether Partagas felt Blevin should not be there is not explained, but I thought it was an interesting observation. But focusing on the briefing by Supervisor Miro to the ISB members, in particular Colonel Yularen, there were several underlining elements that particularly interested me about the Imperial internal culture and attitude. After 14 years of relatively unchallenged rule, after rooting out remnant pockets of separatist droid army resistance, the Empire appears to be in a state of systematic arrogance and complacency. Even after the Eldani garrison attack, the majority still appear to have an outlook that what appears to be a series of random thefts could not possibly surmount to a real rebel threat. When Mira presents the stolen Imperial Starpath unit, she points out that the Steergard Naval Yard were afraid to disclose its theft and attempted to hide its absence. The apparent political fear and harsh environment created by Palpatine is highlighted by this and also how the Imperial Navy wish to keep a lid on any potential embarrassment, even though the problem is rife throughout the galaxy. Another interesting element is the way Yularen seems relatively unresponsive to Miro's report, even though her findings make uncomfortable hearing. My thoughts on his behaviour was that he was dismissive of her due to the Empire's sexist attitude to female officers in a male-dominated organisation, or was it that he was just sceptical on any genuine connection between the Aldani heist and a pattern of organised thefts? Or was it both? Let me know what you think in the comments. Yularen's questioning on Miro's wish list was deemed by him as a large investment. However, Miro's determination to prove her point compels her to challenge Yularen with a valid response. And Partagas backing up her findings, he supports that view that a coordinated rebel network does appear to be in existence without knowing its scope. Overall in the scene, Yularen appeared troubled and surprised by Miro's report given his announcement in episode 7, but her findings certainly paint a worrying trend which can no longer be ignored given the evidence. Also, little do they know, the Empire already has Andor in their custody on the Kena 5. In relation to Nikina 5, a special mention in this episode goes to the appearance of British actor Andy Serkis, playing the rather driven role of the 5-2D manager, Kino Loy, at the Imperial Factory facility. For more Imperial Perspective videos from the Andor series, please give a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support and watching this video, and as always, long live the Empire.